Hello everyone, welcome to this week's midweek message. We head on Sunday towards Pentecost, that moment when we remember that Jesus promised to his disciples that he wouldn't just be with them, but that he would provide the resources to be within them. He promised to send his Holy Spirit to be the comforter, to be the one who makes Jesus known in our hearts from the inside out. Pentecost is one of those moments in the year when we kind of get a chance to express what we know to be true every single day, that Jesus fills us up with his Holy Spirit. The Bible describes uh, being filled with the Holy Spirit like this in Ephesians 5:18. It simply says, don't get drunk on wine. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. And now I like a glass of wine or the occasional beer, uh, but Paul's reference here in Ephesians is to say, look, you can, you can seek to be fulfilled in any number of ways. You can look in any number of directions, but you'll always fall short if you aren't inviting the Holy Spirit to fill you up. It's that daily prayer where I pray, Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. This is not a once for all moment, but an opportunity to pray every day, Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. In fact, in the Greek text of Ephesians 5, 18, it's a present continuous. It says, keep on being filled with the Holy Spirit which indicates that maybe for all of us, and maybe every day, to take a moment when we pray, Lord, today, fill me with your Holy Spirit, because Jesus works on us from the inside out. He fills us with fruit that grows and develops as we follow him. He gives us gifts to enable us to serve him and others. And it comes from that place, that simple prayer of, Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. So today, would you join me in this very simple prayer as we pray, uh, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, here we are today. In all our frailty, our weakness, our hopes, our fears, we say, Come, Holy Spirit, fill me up, refresh me, renew me, inspire me once more with your love. Lord Jesus, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, fill us afresh. Enable us to serve you and to follow you today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh,